Hey guys, it's Oz here, and uh, welcome to the uh, episode. Today we're going to be doing, um, we're going to look at the uh, Darkcraft wrench and how awesome it is. So we're going to start by making some uh, force ingots. We're going to make as many as possible here. Um, so generally force ingots are made like this by force jam, uh, iron or reinforced iron. Um, you can also make it out of other metals, but uh, generally you want to do reinforced because you'll get three instead of two ingots. So three is better, of course. And to make a force wrench, you're gonna need a force gear and three force ingots. So let's just make the gear first. So it's wood first. I'm gonna need to make some more wood first, yeah. Okay. Wood gear first. Ah, oh, damn it. I'm a gumby. Actually, I need cobblestone. That's what I need. There we go. So it's wood gear in the middle, and then turn into a stone one, like that. And then force ingots on the outside gets you a forced gear. Force gear. Yeah. And then force gear. Force, force. Yeah. Force wrench. Okay, so generally, what the force wrench can do. Uh, it's what I, I primarily, primarily use it for is uh, picking up items so if you just uh, shift right click see that's a that's a, a meadows hive which is something you just can't normally pick up so if you try and pick up eventually it'll break so we won't do that so we'll just, and then what you can do is you can pop back down again and uh, the bees that were in it or that will come out of it are still there so it's pretty good uh, the force wrench also works on uh, machines as well, so they look a little bit different when they've been picked up with a force wrench. Uh, you gotta be careful when you put them down. The they the blocks might look invisible, but don't worry, it's just a graphical glitch if that happens. Uh, you can pick up whole chests like that, and we also picked up the sign as well. So that chest had stuff in it, and we open it again. Still has stuff in it. Awesome. And uh, that was a uh, thinmatics. Um, okay. Now what I was going to use this force wrench was actually to go pick up a. Well, I'll go show you in the never. <laughs> Hello, Never. And luckily for me, I'm right next to a fortress. That's a... Okay, where is it? There's one over here. If we can get to it quickly. Oh, they didn't spawn in time. Win. Okay. What are you doing there? See, we've just picked up two spawners, and then we can go all the way back to the overworld. Hmm, I didn't think this through. Just realizing that my whole basing is a platform made out of wood, and I've got spawners here that actually have blazes in them. So if I put these down, they're going to set everything on fire. That's not a good idea. But I'll keep them for later on. So what we're going to be doing in future episodes are one I'm going to be looking into QCraft. Seems a very interesting mod. Um, I'm going to be looking at um, using these monster spawners, blaze monster spawners, not only to get the the blaze powder out of them, but also maybe to get a uh, EXP farm going as well. The other things I want to look at is a, a quarry, um, and ah, uh, well, yep, I've got, did have an idea. It's a way of using bees to generate flowers, and then using some kind of water source block to uh, wash the flowers away into a uh, uh, a shoot or a, a hopper, and then filtering the flowers out. Stop that phone. Filtering out the flowers uh, to either 
create dies out of them or other stuff and also to create a power source from flowers so I'm not quite sure if my idea will work but I'll have to do some testing and at the end of it you will see it on the channel but apart from all that stuff if you do want to see something uh, let me know if you want any questions answered let me know um, I can do whole videos on stuff tutorials guides whatever uh, so until next time guys please like comment subscribe and and, and other stuff like that um, I shall see you next time guys nah.